Hello everyone, and welcome to Logical Cogs Let's Play series. My name is Nick, and today we are going to be playing a old classic that I liked back on the PS2 days. I felt like they didn't really get as much public notice. Probably got a lot, who knows, I don't pay attention anymore. But I always like to play it again because it's on the PlayStation 4 store! That is Rogue Galaxy. It's a... Basically, it's a, you know, adventure RPG game style with real-time combat on the maps and stuff. Uh, it's one of level 5's, right there on the screen, earlier games, and I love it. So just a quick idea what the game is about. Pretty much think Treasure Planet is a video game. That's basically what this is. It's Treasure Planet. It's your simple space pirate going out, looting, getting on a crazy adventure, and all of that. I love it. It's simple. It's a fun adventure. A, the gra to this day, the graphics still look good with their cell shadedness to it. Um, again, I enjoy it, and I can't wait to replay it again. So, anything else I can say about this before we jump in? Hmm. Not I can think of. So yeah, let's hop in, everyone. Can't wait to play one of my old favorite games. Actually, I do have one thing to say. Or do I want to say it now? Now nah, we'll wait until after the story. Story. The war that divides the galaxy has cast its dark shadow upon the distant desert, Planet Rosa. Highly valued for its natural resources, Rosa has been put under direct control of the Longardian Federation in an attempt to prevent invasion by the Draxian Empire. Under Longardia's watchful eye, the enslaved Rosens now find themselves forbidden to leave the planet. Ooh, cutscene time. <laughs> All right, and from the desert sands comes Luke Skywalker. Uh, I, I mean, Jaster. Not Luke, Jaster. There are going to be some uh, Star Wars similarities, but that's okay. And our favorite bone camel. But again, it's like I was saying, like, yeah. The cell shaded graphic look it still looks amazing to this day. Yeah, we don't have the greatest resolutions, but hey, trapped within this I still desert the wasteland, the sands of time blow ceaselessly. But it's not gonna end like this. Because the Prince of Persia is gonna come. And I'm take gonna the sand find my time. way out of here. <laughs> I swear it. Well, buddy, I have all the faith that you will. Come with me, my faithful bone camel. Also, why the fuck do you need water? You're already dead. Unless that's a helmet. Like, I was never quite sure. I assumed it was just a bone camel. Oh, hello, Jeebers. I get cat back there. He's not happy with me right now. He hurt He hurt himself, so now he has to wear the cone of shame for a couple you weeks. Sure he's in this backwards bumpkin oh, town. The information came from a credible source. <laughs> He's here, all right. He should be hiding out somewhere on Rosa. Desert Claw. Oh. He's one of the galaxy's top hunters. Good for Maybe him. Maybe he got his mitts on a load of dosh and he's off living it up somewhere. Can't believe he'd be wasting his time on this slave rock. Don't worry. He's somewhere <laughs> on this planet. My instincts are infallible. I hope so. You're a goddamn robot. <laughs> I would if I were you. They're quite uncanny. Also, they tend to be accurate, Besides, you know, programming, this to robot. Whether or not he's the real deal. Just leave a it robot to using Steve, a machine. Right? Why don't you already have that machine built in you? Well, the captain will be pretty cheesed off if we don't find him. So <laughs> you'd better come through on this. Cheesed off. I know, I know. All right. Now, where could Desert Claw be hiding? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Uh, I will say though, I love this kind of era of RPGs. It was still on the side of a uh, classic style of exploring around and everything, but still reaching to that new era. And level five did a great job with their RPGs. And I think Rogue Galaxy is probably one of their best ones out of, the, out of all their games. One th I will say this, one thing their games have is a lot of voice acting. Tucker As down, compared huh? to other RPGs, well, boy. yeah, Rogue Galaxy is just chock full of talking, okay, which I, which is amazing for games back then because it 
We're still and on small pay. disk space. Huh? Is that all? Can't you spare a little extra? No, we're cheap. We didn't bring that much <laughs> with us, you know. <laughs> Besides, slaves like you should be grateful we even bother to share our Wow, we're passions. really not hiding that fact that these I'm guys are slaves. My health, you know. Okay, then yeah, there's just there's just no hiding the fact. Alright. But I was saying, yeah, lots of voice acting, even outside of main cutscenes. The characters kind of talk and interact with each other as well. This is all that I got today. Those long guardians are getting a little too big for their britches. You gonna like... let them get away with it? I'm just a priest. No, what no. do you want me to do about it? So worked up over it. It's been two years since Rose has been under long guardian rule. They're still struggling to get used to this place. This... We'll get our chance soon enough. Yeah, so, so it hasn't been that long since they've been Man, here. why did Rosa have to get mixed up in this war? Uh, because they were there. It used to be such a peaceful planet. I'm sure why I was. Well, guardians to, aren't what to say, bad, man. Though. Now that their lookouts are posted at the gate, we never get beasts in town anymore. I feel like that should have been a problem addressed even before there, they got there. Just to keep an eye on us. What the? Well, it sounds like they're failing seems their like job already. Too soon, there's a beast in town. A pretty big one by the looks of it. Ooh. All right, I'll take care of it. Just and off wait. I go. Don't worry, I'll behave. With my trusty sword in hand, because screw the future, we still use swords. And that's more than just a small beast. That's a giant flying dragonfly lizard monster. That thing? What is this, Avatar? This is bad. Where they it's just decided we're going to play area. a mix of huh? math and animals? And hey, here's some more bone monsters. Why are they buried Damn. under town? Who the hell knows? Let's kill them anyways. And hey, could this be the fable Desert Claw? Spoilers, it is. I, uh, there's no freaking hiding Don't it. Don't sweat it. These foes are nothing. And now he's really probably one of my favorite looking uh, scimitars huh? I've ever seen. Who are you? Let's finish these jumps off. I first. love its design. This is like again one of my favorite weapons in RPGs. Here we go. All right, so here's the combat. Again, first time. And a little choppy, but first time. This was actually pretty awesome. The fact that. It's real-time combat in the world itself and not jumping to a battlefield of sorts. This is one of my earliest games that I played in the mo you know, during that modern era of that time that had this. And I thought that was just the bee's knees, as the kids would say. Yes, basic controls. I also love the very simple tutorial system that just pops up. Big text, easy to go by. Good enough. Though there is a lot. Action gauge, action gauge, action gauge. So yeah, so as the combat goes, you have a limited amount of action points. After that, you need to sit around and recover. Blocking does build it up faster if the enemy hits you, but never really too much of a concern, unless you're, you're in a very strong. dire circumstance. <laughs> that wasn't even a warm-up. Who are you? Ah, that's my kitty. I'm your ally, of course. For now, anyway. Ooh, how More cryptic. The big fella went off toward the residential area. That beast is worth at least 20,000. Come on. 20,000 what? 20,000? <laughs> what are you saying? Again, I need clarification. Much. Is that a lot? Is that a little? I wish they would tell it, kind of give you an idea of what that was to begin the game. But anyways, now that we can control our character, it's time Damn for us it. to walk around. What's going on here? Why did they let that thing get in? And yeah, there's that beginning of that... Uh, characters talking out just in general kind of gives you a bit more life to the party and everything which I think is actually really cool all right so menu items uh, revelation so this is a quick thing I just want to show off basically remember that system and you know the Final Fantasy 13 11 and Oh, no, 13 and 12 where they had that unlock your talent as you go thing same thing but honestly a lot smarter and it came and it came before that basically you pop in a you find an item you pop you find just a random little collectible item that isn't relevant to gear or anything you 
more actually crafting stuff. You pop into slop, and bam, you got the uh, ability. Very simple, very simple and rewarding, and I feel like other games can learn from that. But yeah, there, there's that. All right. Hello, people. Hello, I would talk to you, okay. but that would take forever. Father Raw, I'll talk to you, though. You seem cool. Right, there's a giant stuff all around town. I imagine it must be a humanoid type beast. In case we can... All right, whatever. Good. You people are unimportant. It's time to go save the day. And again, an awesome soundtrack with fitting of space pirate games. Lots of NPCs. Hello, Something's Percy. Wrong here. There's just too many beasts. Oh yeah, that's right. Before I do anything else, system settings. Please. Battle camera, stereo. No. Where is it? Where is it? Camera version reversed. I believe that's it. Much better. Yeah, I can't. I, I I only accept a certain type of camera control, and I'm not willing to compromise. Thank you, games that let me, let me change that. One after another. Up is up, down is down, left is left, right is right. If things start to get hairy up ahead, use the transporter. Psst. Know your way around it. Yeah, it's totally not a save point or anything. Eight megabytes for the. <laughs> Remember when eight. For all the older gamers out there, remember when 8 megabyte memory card was, you know, a regular size, oops, my bad, a regular size memory card? Holy crap. How times have changed. Yes, yes, I know. It's a save point. There's not much else to do with it. Save. Yes, I have been playing this on my own for a little bit. Ignore that, pretend it's not there. Okay, and away we go. Uh oh, more battles. Here we go. So just to expand a little bit more on the battle system. Yeah, it's lock on function. Up, down, left, right. Ow. So yeah, to expand on it, we have the lock on, of course. Oh, gotta recharge. There we go. So you have your basic attacks, and every character has this. And they have their secondary. And their secondary changes for everyone. So for Jaster, his secondary weapon is a pistol. And that... So great for hitting long-range attacks, like enemies in the air and whatnot. Yeah, you can, yeah, just blah, 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 blah. Press select on the wall traveling, display map. Yes, I know. Yes, way markers, shops, and whatnot. Oops. I really gotta stop. Alright. Only problem is, I can never figure out what select is on this. God damn it. Why can I not remember what select is right now? Okay. So that's pause. Why can't I remember what select is? This is terrible. Oh well. Pew 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 pew. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, by the way, if you knock out enemies as well, you can uh, pick them up and toss them around. Cause you don't give a fuck. See an enemy you don't like? Just toss them at another one. It works out just fine. Yes, yes, potions. Which, and that's another nice thing too, is that made the, uh, that made, like, you know, uh, NPCs in your party much more, you know, useful. Was that you could, you know, have them, every once in a while they'll, you know, have, like, a timer on their abilities, and they'll ask whether or not you want to use a debilitating ability, you cover a debuff, you use a potion to heal you or them. That is such an amazing system, and Jesus Christ, I didn't even move. But yeah, oh man, look at these tutorials are going to drive me crazy after a while, but we just, luckily we have to get through them. Can you, can you, so you can adjust the camera's height by pressing the select button. Gotcha. Yes, I know, there's some boss battles. 
All right, no, we don't need to heal. We're fine. There we go. Okay, much better. Ah, and now we got some Thunderstones from that. And here's a tutorial with that revelation again. Yep. Press the start button. Continue. I feel like my select button, or what should be my select button, isn't working. Hmm. I don't know how to change that. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna see if I can change that really quick, because I do like having a big map. Uh, give me one second, folks, while I figure this out. Uh, the fun, uh, experimentations of using Elganto systems. Be right back. Hello, and I'm back. Okay, now that I did a little bit of research on that, I realized that it's actually the touch button is for both start and select. Right to start, left to select. Good to know for the future. Oh, that's right, you hidden little key bastards. Okay. Anyways, looks like somebody's cooking some scrambled eggs. And this is really annoying me, so settings. I'm just going to change this one as well. There we go. I don't know why, this reverse feels much more natural to me. And up the ladder. Ah, here's a chest we can open. Let's see what's inside. It's a max seal. I'll save that for a dire straight situation. But anyways, let's show that revelation system off a little bit. Jaster. Flash sword. Probably one of my favorite abilities in this entire game. So we throw in the stone there. Nice and simple. We got an ability. And now we have a lot more paths. Attack up. Burning Strike, this is your special attacks and abilities. And a Flash Sword too, the upgraded. Alright, and then once we get into battle, I'll show off what, how abilities are used. Damn it. What's going on here? Why did they let that thing get? It flew in! You can really tell a beast that it just can't fly in, just be on the border of the town being like, Hey! You beast over there! Don't fly in here! And they'll be like, oh, okay, I won't. Oh, I have to wait for my gun to charge up. For this strategy, I tend to find out, especially if you have long range attacks, use those first. Drain out that secondary bar, then go into combat. Get a few free hits without being hit. Aw oh, man, I meant to use the flash sword. We'll do it after this one. Since we get to be our other teammates. It would appear a beast has invaded the town. What what luck? The Desert Claw would never pass up a chance to score a load of points like this. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Are you bonkers? It's way too dangerous. I love his voice so much. <laughs> this way. Hey, Let's... wait for me. <laughs> okay. Hello, people. Deva Fear, I'm on the job. You soldiers are just running around like complete morons. <gasps> What's this? The bridge is out. What the rule? What happened? That base smashed the bridge! This is absurd! I can't take it anymore! How will we ever get across? If only we knew how to swim! Oh wait, we do. And we can jump. We're not totally useless. Alright, so we guess... We'll get the save point, we'll save the game, because I am paranoid when it comes to... Losing game data. Yep. Alright. And now, as you can see, now we have a second teleporter. We can now teleport between saves. Making it very nice to go back to areas and farm and collect items and stuff. Item storage. Eh. I never really throw anything in storage anyways. And for a good reason. That I'll show later on. Alright. Let's open this up. Yeah, free potions. And fire extinguishers for more of our wonderful little, uh, uh, you know, ability building. All right, so f here's how abilities work, which is nice. So you you have to press triangle up, open up the menu, 
you hit abilities, and then you'll click to which one you want, and you'll enter a cutscene showing that ability off. This is to guarantee you are never interrupted when you're using abilities. Yes, make the most of your abilities to effectively defeat your enemies. Not only Flash Sword because... Oh wait, never mind. This is, this is the wrong one. This is Lightning. I want Illusion Sword. That's the one I'm thinking of. This is your generic Lightning Sword ability. Why? Because Jaster's about Lightning, I guess. Also, nice thing too is I can, you know, target and hit enemies without having to see them constantly. The camera is not your enemy in this game, which is so nice. All right. If this keeps up, the town's gonna be destroyed. Yes, I know this, Jaster. You're gonna keep reminding me about this, and I'm not gonna care. Oh, you need the sun key. Sun key? I don't want to get sun key. He's not fun. All right, but is there a second chest up here? Why, yes, there is. Like, I don't know why I'm saying, I'm acting surprised. I know it's up here. Sweet. Anything I can unlock with Revelation? Nope. So another nice thing too is, if you get an item that can be used in Revelations, it will, you open up the menu, the little text will glow, showing you that indeed you can, which is awesome. Wait. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> now we go our separate ways. What? What do you mean? You lazy bum! I You're supposed to help me! Anymore. Sorry. <laughs> Just go into the residential area and it's take down that ear. big brute. Yeah, leave a kid hey, to take down a horrifying a monster. That, yeah, that, you're a gr you're great myself? help. See, even Jasper agrees. You don't think so? Here, try <laughs> this. It's much better than that butter knife of yours. Butter. Much better than your butter knife. Yeah, I got a sword. Right. Do 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 do. Again, I love this thing so much. Obtain the Seven Star Sword, Desert Seeker. Whoa, that's a thick ass sword too. And this. <laughs> What's this? Man, you have the reflexes of a ninja, Jaster. Just sword one hand, sword one hand, and then like, oh, I'm just gonna casually grab the trap. You know, this battle recorder. Doink! A battle recorder. It'll capture the fight from start to finish. You ought to get a lot of points for bagging My that. My god! Fight. It's Go a game on. capturing Take software. So but no, know. really, it's just to record my points I get for hunting monsters no, and wait. reaching certain achievements and thresholds. How can you just leave me here? Like this, buddy. Woohoo! I'm just gonna hop away! <laughs> And suddenly, the mole people attacked. What do we do? Silly mole people, you can't attack me. Oh, you're bigger Damn than it. mole people. Fine. Also, you're not moles. You can't scare me. You're golems. Bring it on. Also, I'm Bruce Lee now. And have a cocky attitude. Here we go. Recovery methods. Thank you. Oh, what's this? He has no damage. Some beasts can only take damage by sending body parts. Well, that means I just got to jump and slice! Whee! Oh yeah, that's right. I can also backflip and dodge. Come on. There we go. Oops, missed a combo. Ooh, I should really recover, I just realized. Also, again, yeah. Oh, I'm out of action! Hit me, bitch! Uh -oh. Damn it. Not good. I forgot how freaking how tough these guys were early on. Yeah, keep fighting, but. Damn it! Finally, use Max Heal. This is not good. Come on, come on. Oh, 
Oh, that's not good. And yeah, Blocky is a godsend. Damn it, I'm down. Game over. Well, yeah, you can tell my 16 hours of gameplay have been well worth it. Not. Yeah, th I won't lie though. This is a weird difficulty curve in the battle. Like, these guys hit really hard for a low level enemy, especially one that's supposed to be a tutorial of sorts. All right, let's get through this. Yada, yada, yada. But yeah, we just gotta live with it. And pretty much after these guys, it gets back to normal. Even the boss isn't as hard as them. Also, now you can also get to see this right now. As you go through the, the game, the story will update as you go. So it will give you a reminder of what you just did. Which I think is really cool because a lot of games, you get lost if you haven't played in a while. This tells you what you've just recently did and gives you an idea of what to be doing again. So, something I wish more games would do. Here we go. Yep. Yes, I know. Pew, 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 pew. Oh no, I'm out of energy. That's okay. Aw, oh, but now I have to... Aw, oh, but now I don't have the revelation. Or do I? I can't remember now if we use it by now. Yeah, we did. Never mind. I'm the stupid. Alright. Something's wrong here. There's just too many beasts. Here they come. Ah, oh, statue dog! The most terrifying of fiends. Ah, I'm still down of energy. Damn it, dog, hit me! Bam! He's dead. That was a cinch. All right. Let me grab this chest again really fast, and we can continue this on to good. our fun little challenge. All right, up we go, yada yada yada. Man, Jason, you climb over the ladder slow as hell. Get that for later. Let me off this crazy ride. Freaking visible on, walls. Let's hurry. You're the one who's slowing us down, Jaster. Deal with it. Also, what's great too is... I can skip scenes! Yeah! Thank God! Here we go. Okay, yes I know. Okay, come on, come on! Yeah, double. Just be unrelenting. Come on, almost there. There we go, there's one down. Now, I'm trying to remember if lightning was good against these guys. I assume they're earth, the earth enemies, so probably not, but a little extra damage could have hurt if it does. Yeah, I guarded. Yeah, it totally works. Also, I was totally stupid to me. But this time, I've done even better. Oh yeah, that's right. Bam, there we go. Much better, I would say. And we gotta finish off with a cool uh, halfway divide down the middle attack. Yeah, it's a cool sword, Jaster. Man. Yeah, you agree with me. You're not half bad, kid. Huh? What's this? Oh, oh my! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> What's going on? J -j 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 Just look! My device is beeping. What is it? Can you believe it? <laughs> my look! Look at that guy! Look at that camel! There's someone over there. <laughs> Desert Claw obviously knows what's going on. Yes. 
no doubt about it. And see what he's got there? Yeah. That's Desert That's Claw's cool. weapon. Desert Seeker. One of the seven sacred galactic swords. Cause why not? So that means that you You must be That's right! Santa Claus. The legendary hunter! Desert Claw! Close enough. The, the what? <laughs> oh, I can't believe how lucky we are. To think we found him this quickly. No kidding. I told you he'd be on this planet, didn't I? Didn't I? Sure. Really? Well, now, yeah. we the lucky ones. Mission accomplished. He doesn't Let's tell you about back. the 50,000 oh, others, probably. On, too, mister. Whoa. Wait a second. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Look, Kidnap you, of course. I take care of that beast <laughs> up there. You're in my way. Ah, why bother? I mean, it's such a chore. Come towards me, <laughs> and we'll give you all That's the equivalent of Godzilla attacking the military. Is like, oh, I don't feel like Come it. On. It's just too much work to deal with a giant monster. I have to go now, or that thing is gonna destroy the town. Let me go. <laughs> That's our desert claw, a man of unbending determination. Ah, whatever. And already I'm being. We'll you having pretty lofty uh, ideals so slapped upon me. Over, oh you're boy. Coming with us. Is that ideal? Huh? Why should I? A great response! Why should I? <laughs> Let's be on our way. You guys are the worst. Oh, well, by the way, this is Simon and Steve. Steve is the robot. And again, now we get to see some of the other end our, our allies' abilities, which, again, every character has something unique and fun about them, which makes fights also enjoyable. And you can play as them as well, which is great. Because, yeah, every once in a while, you just get tired of being the uh, sword-slinging hero. Sometimes you want to be the robot. Because who doesn't want to be the robot? I know I want to be the robot, and you should too. Change your parts look quick from the allies' menu. Yep, I know. Also, another fact, fact too, you don't have to always use Desert Claw, which is advisable because of the system that will come in handy later on in the game. So, let us hit the save point and we will be on our way. Onto the next episode. Oh, no, no, I guess we'll preview the uh, fighting sequences first. Alright, so there's Desert Claw. But yeah, hey. Sometimes I want to switch characters to Simon. He has a flamethrower. He has freaking rockets. Woo! And those eyes to us. After you switch, you can stay as that character as well. I mean, again, older game, great gameplay mechanics. I love that. It makes this game so enjoyable. But anyways. And the last thing to show off too is point exchange. As I hunt bounties, I will get points for items and whatnot from the bounty board. And yeah, so far that's Rogue Galaxy. And our adventure has just started. I can't wait for us to get farther in the game and see the universe that's out there. And show you all the fun, crazy misadventures these characters go on. So, until then, I'll see you guys again when the gears start turning. Later.